Well, we do have new information tonight about a crime spree in Jefferson County that led to a woman's death. Two more people have let police know that someone hit their cars with rocks, too. Well, that's what killed 20-year-old Alexa Bartell last week. Police believe that the same person or people attacked several other drivers in Jefferson and Boulder counties. Alan Janae has been covering the story for us. Joins us tonight, and Alan, any and all information really much needed in these cases. Absolutely, Karen. You know, investigators asked for more information, and that is what they got. These two additional vehicles were hit while headed southbound on 93, the first hit by a large rock, the second hit by a series of smaller rocks, and the second vehicle was close enough so that the driver knew that the first had been hit. And there is more information suggesting that these rocks were likely coming from an oncoming vehicle, the latest description being a light-colored pickup or SUV. Five painful days since the death of Alexa Bartel in this lonesome stretch of Indiana Street, friends continue to come to mourn. Her loss affects not only those who knew her, but is affecting people who never met her. Now there's a, a young, bright life, 20 years old, no longer with us. Like, it, it, I, it defines comprehension. I just. I can't even imagine. Dale Bertain drives in this part of Jefferson and Boulder counties a lot and now worries. There's been a fatality, so that raises it to a level of fear that I would have never expected driving this stretch of the road. It's all over the place. Now. Tanya and Chris Phillips live nearby, and people are talking about what happened. Yeah, we go down these roads four, four or five times a day, and you just don't even think about getting hit with a rock, you know, your car. It's sad. Investigators understand. It is scary, and we want these people behind bars. Confirming two more vehicles were hit, these along Highway 93 near 128, where they believe the rocks were thrown from another vehicle, which makes it more likely more than one person is involved. It would be difficult for one person to do this by themselves. Yeah. They'd have to be driving and throwing rocks at the same time. And that makes keeping it quiet harder especially after taking a life. It's got to be weighing on, on somebody right now. I hope someone comes forward and can't live with that. Investigators tell me they have now received nearly 300 tips and they're going through all of them. And that $17,000 reward remains in this case as an incentive. In Jefferson County, I'm Alan Janae covering Colorado First.